Welcome back to another self-help video. This one is for the Asus Q302L and we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to replace the uh, battery on it. It's got a battery issue, it's not powering on. I think the battery's messed up no matter how many times I hit the power button, it won't turn on. Uh, even with the power cord on, uh, plugged in, it still won't um, power up. Um, and if you notice, it's not like the uh, other models out there. This model of Asus does not have any external components, i.e. a uh, compartment for memory modules, um, hard drive and battery, etc. Everything is internal to the unit. So uh, let's begin. I'm going to show you how to um, take this cover off and re uh, at least take the battery out. I think if we disconnect the battery and reconnect it, I think we'll be doing very quite well. So I already removed the screws. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and they're all the same size. That's the size of the screw. They're all the same size, so you don't have to worry about uh, mixing them up. Um, what I recommend doing is starting in the back here. This is the back of the laptop. This is the front. And all you gotta do is pop the uh, plastic cover up. And once you start popping it up, the rest comes up pretty easily. There you go, as you can see, it just started popping up. And now I'm just gonna make my way to the front, as such. Use my finger, you can use a plastic tool, whatever you like, and just go right around the unit. You can hear it popping up. And that's really, that's really it. Um, put the cover aside, and now you'll see all the internal components. Um, very important, obviously the processor. Um, I Hard drive. Here's your Wi-Fi uh, card. I believe the memory modules may be under here from what I can see. Um, battery, uh, CMOS battery. So what we're gonna do is remove this battery and the CMOS battery. Um, very important. First, let's, let's remove the CMOS battery. All you gotta do is pull it, unplug it. That's a CMOS battery. Holds a date and time and such during boot up. Very important when you're removing this battery. Don't, do not try to pull, pull this connector um, or pop it up like other ones um, without first, there's two tabs right here. You have to lift each corner up just so, ever so slightly, just like that. And then lift the other corner up. And by doing that, it pops right off. Uh, there's screws that hold the battery in. Let's remove. Actually, we don't have to remove, really remove the screws because we're just disconnecting the battery. So, this, so I disconnected the battery. Um, well, if you wanted to replace the battery, there's one, two, uh, three, four, and five. There's five screws, so you could remove those five screws um, and put a, a new battery in. I loosened that one up. Um, so what we're gonna do is, by disconnecting that battery and the CMOS battery, uh, we're just letting it discharge for a minute here. Um, power button is right here. Press the power. Power button is right here on this side. Remember, this is the back. This is the front. So here's the power button. I'm going to press it a few times just to make sure all the, uh, if there's any power st stored in uh, the system that it um, releases it by pressing the button. So it's all discharged now. Now I'm going to put the thing, the unit back together. So let's plug in our battery. And it kind of just goes in the same way. You can this one at least you can push it down, and it snaps right in. CMOS battery, same thing. Just plug that in. Perfect, and that just goes right here. That's your CMOS battery. All right, so everything's in. That's in. I'm hoping, guys, this will be an easy fix. Let's put the cover back on. We don't want to short anything out. Turn it around. I'm not gonna put the screws in yet. Power button is right here. Let's see. Maybe the battery might be dead, so let me try plug it in and see what happens. I got the power cord right here. Did it turn on? Awesome. It is turning on. And without the, without the AC adapter, I'm sorry, I didn't see that. 
So that's what it was. It was the um, uh, the battery it was just holding a charge and wouldn't allow the unit to um, power on. So by removing the uh, primary battery, the cable, the connector, you can remove the whole thing if you want. All I did is remove the connector and the CMOS battery, uh, put it back together, and we have power. So now what I'm going to do, just to show you here, it is powered on. So all I'm gonna do now is just put it back together. I'm gonna flip it back, turn it off, flip it back over and uh, put those six screws, that, I'm sorry, the 10 screws back in and give the unit back uh, to its owner. So we're all set guys. Um, thank you for watching. I remember if funk can do, so can you. See ya.